You're watching EAC News. Thanks for joining us. A dedicated working team from the Department of Conservation of Monuments and Preservative Archaeology of the Apsara National Authority is undertaking an intricate task of removing thousands of stone blocks and had fallen into ponds in the east of Bayon's temple. Ms. Tim Tida, a technical staff member from the Department of Conservation and Monuments and Preservative Archaeology, stated that the removal of these stone blocks from the ancient pond serves two main purposes. Firstly, it is to organise and transport the stones to appropriate storage facilities. Secondly, it aims to enhance the value of the Bayon Temple and to restore the two ponds to the original identity and archaeological form. Ms. Tida elaborated that a portion of the stone pile with the temple's premises was previously collected in a third compound and the first gallery of the Bayon Temple by the French curators between 1919 and 1930. Among the fallen stones and north posts of the temple are 50% of roof stones while others include pediment stones, beams, pillars, platforms and carved small stones from that once adored the temple's facade. Prior to the removal process, the stones were scattered, but their overall quality is mostly intact. The team's initial approach involved removing the stones to the front of the temple, and they will categorise them according to the type, such as roof stones and pillars. These categorised stones will be placed in the north side of the Bayon Temple. So far, the Tsara National Authority working team have successfully relocated approximately 4,000 stones blocks to be designated to the north area of the temple. The team's estimations suggest that there are approximately 20,000 ancient stones that need to be removed from the ponds. The endeavour to remove the stone blocks from the ponds in the east of the Bayon Temple commenced in early 2023 with the first phase encompassing a detailed study of the documents and the photography of the stone collection. Bayon Temple commenced in early 2023 with the first phase encompassing the detailed study of documents and the photography of the stone's condition before the relocation began. The overall project is expected to be completed by August to September, bringing the restoration and the preservation of the significant ancient artefacts. Anthony Ellis, EAC News.